Hello, welcome to another roulette strategy simulation. I'm going to try something a little bit different today. We're going to jump straight welcome in. To the table. Place your bets, please. And I'll explain as I go along. So one unit, one chip. We're going to spin without Lower first, bet. just so we can get a number going. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get a 10 minute timer set as normal as well. Because we don't want to be here all day. We're just testing out a strategy, seeing what we can get in 10 minutes, whether it's a win or a loss. Uh, so, right, we just had 13, so that means we're going to use these three columns, but we're not going to bet on this column because we've just had a number in that column. So, one unit there, one unit there. And no we'll spin habit. that. And then we'll see what happens with this first bet. <clears throat> Lovely, that's a win. I'm ready. So, we're just going to re-bet now, but we're not going to bet on that column because that's where our number was that we just won on. So, we're going to bet on these two. We're going to no spin. Bets. So, yeah, trying a strategy here where we're going to basically, it's a level, it's a four level recovery system uh, based on the three columns. And uh, so that's another win. We're off to a flying start here. Two units on this session win. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's based on these three. Uh, these three columns here uh, and because we're betting on two of them no it bets. gives us uh, I think it's about a 60 65 percent chance of winning um, which is pretty good <laughs> he says that as we get a loss time that well don't I? Uh so yeah but because we've got a loss we're just going to rebet uh, but this recovery system is a four level recovery system and we're going to be tripling the bet each time. So it's got, in my opinion, this is a high uh, risk to reward ratio. It's a bit risky, but like I said, we'll see what happens. Um, so we bet two, so now we're going to need to bet six. So we'll put another couple of units on each, we're betting six units total. And we'll no spin that. Bet. That's another loss. So now we're going to go to level three. Triple the bet. So now we're going to need... Uh, just double check. Yeah, so level three. So that's nine units. On each. 18 units in total. So we're going to spin that no one. Apparently, the chance of getting four consecutive losses on this strategy is only about 4%. 5%. Um, so we'll see how we go. Um, so we're out of recovery. We're back to level one now because um, obviously level one, two units, level two, six units. We had to go to level three, 18 units. We risked 18 units plus the previous units uh, to recover that. But we did. Uh, we didn't have to go to level four. If we do go to level four and we lose, I think the the totals 80 units is the max exposure on this. Um and we're only three up at the moment. So anyway, we'll crack on because we are in a timer. It's about seven minutes left. So last number was 20. Uh, so that means that we're going to be betting on. Uh, yeah, so we want one unit on that one and that one. No more bets. We'll spin that. 31 black. There's another win. That's nice. So we'll go two more units. Two more columns, but not the column that we've just uh, no we've just won on. <coughs> nice and straightforward. This uh, this strategy you can simulate it all day. You just switch the columns uh, each time you win. But now we're going to stick because we've just lost, so we'll be rebetting. But we need to triple our original bet from two to six. No more bet. This is level two now in the recovery. It's another loss, so now we need to go to level 3 in the recovery, which is 18. There we go, nearly lost count then. Right, yeah, so 18 units now on this one, which is uh, takes us up to level 3. We've only got four, four levels maximum. Uh, well, luckily we've got a win. Uh, but like I say, I think it's um, about 4% chance of getting four straight reds, even though each spin's independent. 
you know, before you take the four spins, the chance of getting four straight losers like that is about four percent. So luckily we might do all right with this strategy. Um right, so last one was a three, so we won't be betting on that column. We're gonna go two units back to level one. No more spin bets. that. About halfway through on our timer now. Five units up. Betting two units each time, or losing two units on that one. So we're going to rebet, but we need to triple it up to six to level two. No more bets. See what happens. Can we avoid that level four stop loss? <coughs> yep, we escaped again, so we're out of recovery. Back to level one. So we'll put one unit there, one unit there. So each spin. No more bets. Two unit risk. And uh, we'll gain one unit. So a one to two risk to reward ratio. Yeah, this is going well. So if you want any more statistics of anything like that, or you want me to go you know, more into the probability, for example, I think it's 2.7% chance of getting a zero with each spin. So if you're not betting zero, that's where the house edge comes from. But yeah, let me know if you want any more... Uh, stats of anything like that tell me in the comments let me know your strategies and your simulations are going as well uh, i love trying this kind of stuff out i find it fascinating all the different uh outcomes and some of the unbelievable streaks you get like there'll be some losing ones coming as well as some good winning ones uh it's all just fun anyway um obviously i wouldn't some of this stuff i wouldn't try out in a real real casino uh so yeah i'll stop waffling Seven session win on the units. Um, what did we have last? 26. So we're we'll going to bet there and there. Spin no that. <coughs> 28 black. I think that's a win. It is. So we'll go straight away. Another two units. No bet on the two columns that uh, didn't come in. I think that's another win. Yep. So, bet these two. No more bets. We'll be up to ten units on this session if uh, if this is a win. And it was so awesome. Not even ten minutes in, and we're up uh, ten units, and we're risking two for each spin. But uh, we do have a risky recovery, though. Obviously, it's a four-level recovery with uh, it's got a max exposure of uh, eighty units. So. You know, if you're playing around with $10 units or even $100 units, that's massive, massive amount of risk. Not something I'm particularly keen on, to be honest, this kind of strategy, but it's doing well so far. So last one out was uh, we had a 21 red, so we'll bet these two. No more bets. So that, that was a loss, so we'll re, uh, re bet. But we need to triple it, so a few more units on there. No more and bets. Spin that. Thirty-three black. Another loss. Right. So we need to get this tripled again. And so we'll go up to. Nine units on the same two columns, 18 units total. No See what happens, see if we can avoid this stop loss. It's a huge stop loss, it'll put us at a loss. There's another one. Right, so we've done level three, so this is up to, we're going up to level four now, which is 54 units, which is uh, pretty, pretty big, really. Um, so... That's 50 units on there, 50 on there. I've done that wrong, haven't I? It's uh, 25. There we go, 54 units sorted. Right, and then we will bet this. And if it doesn't come in, that's our stop loss. Bank roll's gone. Game over. No more bets. If it comes in, we've escaped with a four-level recovery. And the time is about to go off as well, I think. Oh, it was a loss. 
54 units down. So the session win there is actually minus 70 as the time is going on. And you can uh, you can see because if that that's gone down to 70 now, uh, so you need it, you know, because you've set it as a level four system, that's where you'd walk away. Uh, if we wanted to, we could simulate it now and we could go into a different recovery or we could simulate something else to try and get out of that loss. But the idea of these simulations is to show that, you know, you can hit some big losses and if you keep doubling it up, <coughs> like if we'd have tripled again, it'd have been far past the 80 unit um, recovery system, uh, exposure limit, sorry, in the recovery system. So, um, but, you know, just for fun, we are just going to place a few and see if we can turn that back into back into a profit with just one more bet. It's not something that I'd actually do, um, but you know because it is a simulation, it is just a bit of fun. So we can uh, we can give it a whirl, can't we? So we're going to go. Um, so we need to triple each one now. So that's going to be. Three on there. Three on there, bringing that up to 75. And then 162. I think I've done that right. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to say this strategy failed because it did. Because we only we set level four before we started playing. That's what we set before the timer went off. Um, but just for fun, I want to see if we can just recover that loss uh, based on this would be level 5, hypothetically. But, you know, time has ended and it did lose, but we'll see what happens now. No more bets. 25 red. Is that a win? Finally. Oh, net win, 81. So... <laughs> Uh, it goes to show that a level 4 recovery system, you'd have walked away with uh, quite a big loss. Um, but with a level 5 recovery system, which is huge risk, but obviously it worked. You would have walked away with uh, 11 units profit in a little over 10 minutes. <laughs> so anyway, I enjoyed that one. Um, if you've enjoyed it, thanks for watching you know and let me know in the comments what you think let me know if you're trying out any of these strategies or what you're doing in your own simulators and uh keep your eye out for the next one i'm gonna be doing some more of these type strategies and uh i'll be playing around with some different recovery methods and different probabilities and things like that um so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one